Now, photographers are calling for a better understanding of the law after a Scunthorpe man was stopped from taking pictures in the town. Security guards at the Golden Wonder factory told him that he was breaking the law. The confrontation was posted on YouTube and has been watched by thousands. Sarah Corker reports. What is that? You're breaking the law. What law is that? Taking the photos in a public building. You're right. allowed to do that by law. Taking pictures of a well-known Scunthorpe landmark for his local website. But it's clear this amateur photographer isn't welcome at the Golden Wonder factory. Get it. I'm on a public footpath. I can do whatever I want. No, you're not. Yeah, this is a public footpath. Yes, the video has had more than 65,000 hits on YouTube. Oh dear. And these are the pictures causing the controversy. I thought that the, the approach that was taken was quite hard. The photographer involved didn't want to be interviewed, but a spokesperson for the website says security guards need to know the law. I think that the responsibility really lies with the firms that run the security at these places. The guidelines are available by us and out to them. Um, security guards are licensed, and I think it's just a question of training. The law states you can take photos in any public place unless there's a terrorist threat. It's not an isolated incident, far from it. Um, we have many readers uh, phoning up, emailing us, telling us they've been stopped. The guards seem to treat the uh, uh, Golden Wonder Factory as some sort of secret um, military installation in terms of their attitude they adopted. Um, he, the guy, the photographer, was standing in what looked like a public uh, street, um, which is perfectly entitled to take photographs. Kingdom Security Limited, who employ the guards on behalf of Golden Wonder, they have launched a full investigation into what happened. And today, management at Golden Wonder said sorry for the guards' behaviour. We were surprised and uh, disappointed at the video when we saw it, and uh, we'd like to offer the photographer our apology. We'd like to invite him down to site to meet with us and to see our factory. I see you took one more photograph. Golden Wonder told us the guards have now resigned, and they welcome anyone taking pictures of their factory. Sarah Corker, BBC Look North, Gunthorpe. Well, the MP for Grimsby, Austin Mitchell, has been challenged while taking photographs, including one incident on Cleethorpes Beach, and is joining us now. Mr Mitchell, good evening to you. Hello. Why are people so sensitive about this issue? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I thought that video was very funny, but the guards were being very silly, because they don't have power to stop anybody taking photographs in a public place of a public building, or people in that public place. I mean, it could be that... Uh, there are security uh, allegations and that the Golden Wonder factory is in fact producing exploding banks of crisps <laughs> we, we could drop on enemy lines so in a war there'll be a secret weapon but I doubt if that's the case only if there are security implications can people be stopped taking photographs You tried to tackle this issue uh, some clarification in Parliament didn't you a while back? Well, well we succeeded actually because we got new instructions issued uh, and a new briefing for uh, PCSOs uh, and uh, police uh, and we also got the confirmation from uh, government and from the department uh, that people were able to take any photographs they wanted in a public place of anything they wanted to photograph and that stop and search which was being used uh, against photographers uh, shouldn't be used in that kind of, that, that kind of way because this didn't cover it. You notice that on the film that there were no police involved at all. This didn't cover police, it was security guards who were badly trained really and didn't know what the law was. So do security staff and officials, do they need more training on what you can do and can't do? Well I think they do, yes. I think, you know, the, the firms employed them need to make it clear uh, what, they, what they can do and what they can't do and that people have a right to take uh, photographs. I think it, all it takes is a bit of common sense, unfortunately. Uh, they lost their temper and it became, uh, it became very funny. But things have not need to go that way. The photographer was quite right to assert his rights and to, to carry on the whole business is really comic rather than, uh, you know, dangerous. Very good to talk to you, Mr Mitchell. Thank you very much indeed. Exploding Chris. Now, another story you might like to have a view on if you are a photographer. Have you had some uh, similar experiences while taking photographs? Uh, let me know. There's the uh, text number 81333, the email address of north.bbc.co.uk.